believe it or not, women nowadays are making just as much money, sometimes even more than a lot of these guys. So and it's you like, know what it's happens not... when women make money? Yep. I'm sure you're going to tell me. Well, Good. let's see if you know. <laughs> Good. No, 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 tell me. But what men don't when... want them because they're like, I don't know. No, 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 no. No, what, what happens when women make make... Sh- no. shit that you're going to say? See, I'm not anti-woman. I'm pro-reality. And the thing is, is that a lot of women don't live in reality. And okay. I have to tell it to them over and over and over again, because most women never get told the truth. Mm-hmm. Because if a girl's halfway attractive, no one tells her the truth because they want to fuck her. So they come on our podcast <laughs> and I tell them the truth. Hey, this is what men really think. This is how the world really works. Oh, you're a misogynist. Oh my God, you're you're misogynistic. Women. You women. Like, no, I'm not misogynistic. I'm realistic. And I'm telling you guys how men really think and how they really speak when women aren't present. Well, so, so I going back to I, my question, I don't disagree. With, and I've told you this before. I don't I don't disagree with everything you say. I just think your angle sometimes is a little like is a little off. Mm-hmm. Like, how? No, I, I, I mean, you you try to put everybody in the same box. Like, oh, you know what that is. Right. Cha-ching, cap. A 304 like it's just like come on bro like we know what you're doing we know it's like you're you have this agenda you you're trying to help these guys not be simps get it understood but at mm-hmm. the end of the day the Sorry, reality George. is is that women are way more diverse there's different situations not really get, okay it's not, not really because men aren't that they're, that so here's the thing there, here's show. another thing as well mm-hmm. before i s- explain this do you know what happens when women make more money going back to the original question we make more money. I don't know. Go ahead. What you changes tell me. with that? What changes? Yeah, with for, that for dating. Yeah, because you're saying I don't need a man. I make my own money. So I mean, you tell me that that I can't say because I, like I said, I make money and I'm in a relationship and it's very healthy and great. Uh-huh. So I don't, I don't know how that would affect another. Why don't you ladies tell me? Because this is what happens uh-huh. in general when okay. women make more money. They still want a partner that makes fifty six percent more money than them. Okay. So as women make more money, their standards go up alongside it. Okay. So, so what's my, the problem with that? You're you're trying to you're because you tried to frame it as if a girl makes her own money, so she's okay with dating a guy because she makes her own money. I, but I, my I, argument is no, her standards only go up when she makes more money. But I I didn't. That was only part of what I was saying. I said women are very diverse. Like there's women that don't make a lot of money and still have really high standards and still right. want the most. That proves my point. Okay. That women care about money, which is what you were trying to do earlier. But I'm not talking about money. No, because you keep thinking it's money. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about standards. I'm talking about values, morals, how you were raised. It's more than just money. The conversation started because you said, because we made a joke. Do you remember how this started? No. Yeah, I do. Because you pressed your chain when when you said, oh, you know what that means. That it means... If a woman goes ahead and consolidates on a guy that has children from another woman, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And she said, oh, yeah, if I like him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, you know what that means? That means he's got to be financially secure to some degree. Because okay. if, a, if a man's coming in with mm-hmm. a child, that's a handicap. So okay. for him to make up for that handicap, he needs to be able to provide security okay. to some degree extra because he has a kid. I don't think that even women should be dating if they're not financially secure. Like, I, I, I it's yeah. not a money thing. I think that if you're okay. not as, as a but woman. But they don't have to. <sighs> okay, okay. Do do men? Okay. Let me ask you a question. I know a do, lot of broke dudes too that have that are in relationships. Do you know somebody, a man that's broke that's in a relationship? Yeah, but who screens for security more of the two genders? <laughs> who screens for security in the in the uh, in the tug of war of genders? Women. One thousand percent. Okay, right. So who's gonna go further being broke? A broke woman or a broke man? Okay, so all right. <laughs> let's, the let's, let's go back. Let's Please go back to the question. Let's go back to this. Please okay, answer the hold question. On. I'm gonna answer your question. Because you're trying Give to make the argument. You're trying to make the argument. M- but Myron. I know broke guys. My get girls. That Myron. doesn't matter. Hold on. But you specifically, <laughs> you pointed that to her. You said you know what that is. Cha ching to her. Is that true for you? Is it true for you? That it, the only reason you would date him if he had a kid was if he had money. No, that's not true. Look, but you said if towards no, her, that was my that's you my point. It's the like whole that's point a, of it. that that's it's my a thing. major component. It's not the only thing we're seeing is a major component. It's a major component because okay. it, financially, she he has to take her and the kid, uh-huh. so she doesn't want to be second second place to that. So I just I, I don't know, man. Like you just see the whole topic of it. But there's broke men out here with kids who are in relationships. Yeah, but for how long? Long. Yeah, follow along. Long. And, who's, and who's he with? A fat, and, ugly bitch nine out of ten times. Like, men, <laughs> like, ew. Like, this is a problem that you guys don't realize. <laughs> Just because you know a dude that's a bum that's with a girl doesn't necessarily mean Too many. that guys that have low socioeconomic status are out here winning. Mm-hmm. Like, most guys struggle with women that don't have kids. 
Most guys, their average, can't even get a date or get a girl to call them back. Right. One in three men is either a virgin and hasn't had sex in a year. But you guys don't know this because you're females and you live life on easy mode. But the difference is, me as a man, not only do I need to know the male experience, but for me to be attractive to women, I have to know the female experience too. Because I'm the one that's responsible for planning the date. I'm the one responsible for spinning game. I'm the one responsible for dressing a certain way, having my shit together, being charming, being charismatic, etc. Because if I go on a date with a girl, even if she's a boring ass bimbo and the date sucks, she's going to still blame me and say, that day sucked, he was boring. So the man is expected to perform, period. So what I'm saying is this. Why, women, are, you, why are you dating boring ass bimbos? That's not the point no, I'm no, trying to make. In general. Like, the point I'm trying to make is the, burden, standards. The, bur the point I'm trying to make is that men must understand women if they want to get laid. Women don't have to understand men to get laid. That's okay. my point. Or get a relationship for that matter. Okay. Most women, I would argue, don't know shit about what men really want. But they don't have to know because they have the privilege of men coming up to them first. Okay.